video, I will demonstrate the features of Webload Analytics and how to create a PDF version of a report. I am already running Webload Analytics, so I'm going to open a load session file. So click on File, click on Open Load Session. I'm going to open my webload.ls, so click on that file and click on Open. So my reports are being generated. So you can see Webload Analytics has a bunch of reports already pre installed and are open when I open my load session. We'll take a look at some of the reports. We have a performance summary. This report shows you your performance over time. We have an attempted connections report. We have a response time breakdown report. There's an HTTP responses report. So you can see all of the HTTP responses were 200. We have HTTP errors over time report. There's an errors and warnings report. There's a long summary. There's a total page time report. There's a worst transaction over time report. There's a transaction counters report. We have an ASP.NET statistics report. This report displays information specific to our ASP.NET web page. There's a load generator health report, and there is a session summary report. So for this session, you can see that we had six virtual clients running. There were 59 rounds, there were 691 hits, and there were 59 transactions. So we'll look at some of the reports in the templates. So there are general reports. And to add any of these reports, we can just double click it. So I'll click on attempted connections. Some of these reports are already there. I'll click on session summary. That report was already there, so we'll just add it again. We can look at log and error reports. There's errors and warnings. There's several other reports. There's one by severity, errors per second, errors per transaction. There's log messages, log summary, and SLA failures. There's also pages analysis. This is the total number of pages over time, total page time. There's percentile reports. There's hits per second by percent, response time by percent, and transaction response time by percent. There's also probing client reports server-side statistics. You can see that we have reports for different web servers and for different operating systems. I'll click on the Windows Network Statistics and I'll click on Windows Platform Statistics. We don't currently have any data for these two reports because we weren't monitoring those metrics. We'll look at session comparison and you can see all the different reports that are available. For this report, I can compare two load sessions. So I'll select Web Load 2 and click Add and I'll click OK. So this report compares two load sessions. There's pages count. We'll look at response time. So these reports would be great to run if you want to compare two different sessions. There's a transaction response times report, and there's a transactions over time report. There are some static templates. I'll click on HTTP responses. I'll click on slowest transactions. I'll click on transaction summary and transactions with the most failures. There's some statistical correlation reports. 